sockeye fishing in one of them down. Welcome to the sockeye bowl. <laughs> Your rods will be going off all day. You will be having lots of fun. This is the place to be. These sockeye are trying to lay in the least resistant water they can find. Our, our sockeye here are relatively small, three to five pounds. But some of them, like the Lake Wenatchee fish, can get up to like seven or eight pounds. They're very nice and big. But our fish here are pretty small. They're, they're like big, just like large, big, big kokanee. They've came 500 miles upriver, and uh, so they're kind of tired. They're trying to hold up below the dam here before they go up the fish ladder, um, and they're they're looking for this this slack water where they can kind of hang out and uh, catch their breath a little bit before they go up. I'm I'm going pretty much almost idle speed. I just kicked my motor in gear, and the only time I the only time I use the throttle is just just to keep my boat you know going where I need it need it to go enough speed to make it thump back and forth to make your bait just wiggle a little bit. You don't want it really flying and you don't want it sitting still. Dave, Pip, and Bill in the same boat. It's been what? Like that, man. A lot of years. Slow speeds. Much slower than you would for kings. Way slower. Who's number one in the boat? Alright, kids, are you watching? That's how it's done. Wait, wait, wait. I like it. What's that rod doing? <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Nice. <laughs> I kind of feel that uh, sockeye key in on scent more than other fish. It's like you know, we were just talking about a coon shrimp, and uh, you know the quality of your coon shrimp and um, your cures and how effective that can be as far as catching two to five sockeye or limiting the boat. And as Craig was saying, you know he thinks it's crucial as well. And, and I found that sockeye and scent uh, go hand in hand. And so you know you'll find I'll have coon shrimp with some garlic and then some with some like tuna anise and similar like kokanee and try those and they'll key in on one or the other during different parts of the day so it's not one of those things you want to be afraid of changing up scent trying scent scent is your friend when it comes to salmon for sure so um, uh, that's just kind of my tip for sockeye fishing is scent is key manage your line uncle willie i'm trying manage your line <laughs> that's a nice sockeye I've caught some really good. You get those Lake Wenatchee, get those Lake Wenatchee fish, man. There's, I think I got him. Here you go. Uncle oh, Willie! Nice on the board. Nice good job, job buddy. Dex. Oh, he's done. Oh, I'm, I'm done. He's done. Yeah, man. It's like, yeah, we're just going long and <laughs> Double trouble UV pink wings. Mylar pink wings. That's what Uncle Willie likes. A little slightly longer leader to make it move a little slower. And chasing as much. And sometimes that back home in the home water, you know. <laughs> I like your bomb up. I don't run on like it. I don't use it. Yeah, no, it's great. It's good. It's good. Bill, oh. do you like fishing? No. Uh, didn't think so. Screws up my golf game. Are we going to any of them? Big! Hey. It's about What's that to happen. It's about to happen. So got another sockeye on here. Um, you know, the bite was kind of dead this morning, and we figured it'd turn on at some point about 30 minutes after they raised that water. You can see over there behind me, and sure enough, that's what happened. Um, just popped on. And the last few fish have came on that Metallica pink wing spinning wheel that we were talking about earlier. Um, that's a nice sockeye. But. Fish here, um, a bit of spinning glow, size 10, and I, double trouble UV pink with mylar pink wings um, on what Herzog calls a rascal, right? He ties a special fly, and uh, that spinning glow just kind of adds that flash in front of it. And that's kind of been our hot ticket this morning. Spinning glow is a neat lure, it's been around a long time, caught lots of fish. Oh, Willie, got one on. Oh, that's a hot one. Good job, Uncle Willie. Hey, three for three. Nice. Nice. Hey, on that Yakima bait mess too. Ooh, the spinning glow. Yeah. And, the, and the fast limit dodger. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> this thing ate a spinning glow rasticle. Yes, indeed. Typically with sockeye, you lose about half that's all the fish you hook. But this time, we've got five in a row. And to my knowledge, that's my personal record. Imagine if you want really light leads way behind you, you could, but you can't do that. With everybody here most of the time. Now the pressure's on. A green blade. And that is eight sockeye in a roll wave landed. Yeah. 
He came off. We're not counting that as a loss. It wasn't on long enough for a loss. <laughs> you say Uncle Willie. Uncle Willie, come see, see the, me. The guys in the floats left too early. Don't stand on the net, yeah. Bill. Yeah, you're right. Pull up lighter. I've lost weight, but not that much. That's a limited sockeye right there. Some yum yum dim sum for the barbecue. Thank you, Mr. Spinning Glow and Craig Mitchell. <laughs> night night. Uh, Craig's been fishing here quite a while. He's been doing this a lot of years. I've known him for quite a while. And he, he's a good fisherman, very educated, um, very well prepared you know, on his game. And so, you know, we were talking earlier about the sockeye thing, and they're the easiest hard fish to catch, right? Because they're so finicky, and sometimes it's just those little minor adjustments. Um, that you make, and he was switching his gear all day, switching dodgers, switching, uh, you know, a leader behind it, you know, going from a blade to a spinning glow to naked to nothing to he runs two shrimp on the hooks. Just kind of a, a neat presentation to learn from him. So uh, it's kind of cool to learn from other fishermen, kind of in the same area that I'm at, and uh, it was just a great day. You know, got limits of sockeye, tried kings for a little bit, king bite and dive when they raise the water, but all in all, it was a great day. I appreciate you know getting fishing with Bill and Nick and. Dave and uh, Skyler and, uh, and Craig and you, Lucas, it was a great day. So we appreciate y'all bringing us out here. It was a lot of fun. Get down here, sockeye fish. Book with Craig Mitchell. You can find him online, Facebook, whatever, man. The guy's a stud. It was fun.